Hey, um, have you seen the book I was reading anywhere? Yeah, the one I usually read, you know, like this time of day. It has a orange cover. It has a skull on it. And the title of it is called Resurrection. With a Z instead of an S. Oh, you think you might have put it in the bookshelf. All right, well, at least it's not, you know, anywhere else. Uh, The book is about kind of like zombies and ghosts, spirits, and how somebody finds them and he essentially realizes like the like what his life should be and things like that you know why things happen for a reason it's not really religious it's more what life is and what you do in it it's a pretty meaningful book highly recommended the author is really good too i think he even started as like a comic book artist i could be wrong in that department huh but It's an amazing book. I really, really recommend it. Huh. Well, time to look in the bookshelf. Hmm. I never realized how many books that we had. Sure are a lot of them. And we did read a lot of them. I don't know what we have more of, books or vinyl records. I guess we're a classic couple. We, uh, oh, damn, that's not it. No, I thought I had it, but it's not the one I'm looking for. No, not this book, not this book, not this book, not... Hey! No, I didn't find it. I think I found something better. Come take a look. This is the photo album my mother made for me. Or the first part of it. This is... Up until I was around the age of maybe 10. I think she still has some of the photos. So let's see where this puppy actually starts. Oh, it starts at a funny scene. Okay, okay. So I'm one of four. Um, my oldest sibling is Cynthia, then Gregory, and then Rydell is the youngest. Yeah, I'm older than Rydell. So, this was when we just got a new shed in the backyard, I think it was, and Gregory and Rydell were both arguing, and Cynthia, I think, was looking after us. I think by the time I was six, she was maybe 12. Yeah, she's pretty, yeah, she was pretty strict back then. I mean, you can see her, right? Yelling at Gregory. So I think they were fighting, and then Gregory just shoved Rydell because Rydell was the smallest of all of us, and shoved him into the shed and locked him in there. And this wasn't a normal lock. This was a combination, so we didn't have a key. Cynthia obviously yelled at Gregory and then she yelled at me because apparently I had something to do with it even though I was just watching alongside. So we both get yelled at. My mom comes home, sees only three of us, and hears Rydell screaming his head off in the shed. We had to wait for our dad to come home and put the combination in. Next up... 
Oh, this is us climbing some trees in the backyard. We used to live near a forest. Yeah, my mom thought it would be a good picture. We were all climbing, and then as soon as my mom left, Rado shoved Gregory out of the tree. And then Cynthia fell, and then I fell on Cynthia. I, I didn't mean to, but I'm pretty sure Rado did mean to shove Gregory, but it was still funny. None of us got severely injured. Actually, I take that back because I think Gregory's thumb got broken or sprained. One of those. The only thing I know after that is that Rattle got the most savage beating he probably has ever gotten. Yeah, Gregory's the biggest. Then me, then Cynthia, then Rattle. Gregory does have muscle, but he lacks common sense. I know it seems like Rattle was the same, but Rattle mostly did it to get back at Gregory. I was a good brother. Even Cynthia made fun of Rattle. I mean, he was the youngest. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make fun of the younger one. I didn't because I kind of felt bad for him. Because before Rattle, they used to pick on me. I didn't want to give him the same torment that they gave me, so... I didn't you know, pick on him or torture him or, you know, what siblings usually do. Oh, here's a, here's a good photo. This is when my father took me to see a race. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I was really surprised. It was something that me and him used to do often. Well, yeah, he's still alive, but, you know, they're older now. They're still kicking. Still my amazing parents. Oh, this one's a school one. This is my school picture from when I was oh, maybe around nine years old. I wasn't really that popular in school, but hey, I didn't care. I had my friends. That's all I really cared for. No, I still talk to some of them. Uh, I mean, we kind of went our separate ways after high school. Except for some of them. I mean, you know some of them. Remember my friend Danny? Yeah, the um, the leopard. Yeah, I've known him forever. And then Chris is a frog, so I think I've known Chris ever since third grade. We were pretty tight back then. They're, they're the only two I kind of really talk to anymore. Oh, and you met Sherry, who we call Cherry. She was a forest goddess. We called her that because she had red hair. Yeah, I think me and them should get together sometime. I kind of miss them. Oh, this is a good photo. This is probably my favorite one. It's a picture of me and my mom. Yeah. Just me and her sitting. Nice peaceful photo. My grandmother took it actually. I should give my mother a call. I mean, yeah, I do it every week, but still. Hey, I got an idea. 
maybe we should make a photo album together. Me and you. What do you say? I knew you liked that idea. I love you. So, so much.